What's that? I hear some keys. Somebody, is somebody the TV the TV. turn that goddamn TV. What's up, everybody? Is it on? Is it on, honey? Is this bitch recording? What's up, YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat? Grind the scrub, VGC, a Jack, Facebook, Periscope, and last but not least, every single one of my bitches. Karishchand Mingle and the lands all across the land. This is your girl T.S. Madison and we are here loud, live, and in motherfucking color at the Marvelous Chateau and welcome to the to the Queen's Supreme Court after show and tonight darling we have none other than uh, the bitch, the bitchy bitchy, the bitchy good morning bitch, good morning Lonnie B, what's up, Miss Vanjie? What's up, Miss Vanjie? Miss <laughs> Vanjie? <laughs> what's the tea, everybody? Ladies and gentlemen, did you got first off, the, let me pin the calling number down here, girl. Let me get, get my hands off. <laughs> Kiki, did you wash them? 5156. <laughs> oh, I was going to do a 504 number. New Orleans must be talking about me. 604. What is this? 515 604 Come on, Fred. <sighs> Bitch, I'm getting old, girl. Okay, I love you too, Missy. 982884. <laughs> Come on, all right? I have it in my notes. Let's go, Fred. Let me put a call in. Are you there, Jamel? Yeah, I'm here. God, you sound so sexy. God, my coochie's gotten wet. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm lying because I don't have a coochie. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, not this week. I've had one before, honey. <laughs> all right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have 234 people watching at this exact moment. Call your mama, your grandma, her aunt, her sister, Corrine, and all them motherfucking olds over there that's smoking them new port. 100. 100. Somebody just walked in. I heard the awesome black. Right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go. Did you guys enjoy the show? Did you guys enjoy the show? The show, ladies and gentlemen, give Run Let It Be a round of applause for being on the show tonight. Bitch, one to one thing about it, Washington D.C. will stand up in the motherfucker. That's why I have always loved me old nasty trade from Washington D.C. because he don't care if your hair is purple and pink or if you're just all natural. Bitch, it's hot. I had to pull that fucking wig off, bitch. I got to pull this. We finna talk natural like this now. <laughs> Kiki, do you love me with my hair off and that blue liner under under eye? Yeah. All right, it's just it's, it's it's are you cool now? Cause yeah. I know you was hot cause I had that wig on. No, it's not good. Thank you, thank you, Bull Dagger. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm a trade. Thank you, Yaya. A spade. I'm the trade. Okay, a trade. <laughs> oh a tray, an oh ice tray. All right, all right, here we go. So, ladies and gentlemen, the calling number is 515 604 9300, access code 982884. We talked about lots of things on the after show, but before we get into the after after show, let us talk about freaking this food that we had that these motherfucking blacks came in and wore the fuck out. <laughs> Who came right. in and wore These out? blacks <laughs> came all the way from all over Atlanta and wore these plates. Thin. They had to. They, we needed an armed guard to stand by the microwave <laughs> <laughs> to make sure that Lonnie B and myself had his food. Okay, so we want to bring first up. We want to bring the seafood one. Let's come on seafood. Where you at, sis? Right come on, here, the right one here. seafood. The one seafood. Mm -hmm. If you're here in Atlanta, Georgia, this hey. this woman will get in her motherfucking vehicle. This woman. Come on, Novita. Will get in her vehicle. <laughs> And she would deliver you a whole eating and nasty, sickening, low down, dirty, scandalous plate that looked like this right here, bitch. You see this? And it's seasoned so oh, well. Oh, Kiki, are you riding? Oh. <laughs> it is. Bitch, this shit made me want to know if Kiki riding, bitch. You hear me? You see that lobster tail over there? This is for the, my seafood lover. She's shutting red lobster, red lobster down. Red lobster for the one seafood lover in you. Red right. Lobster ain't fucking with this right here, bitch. So we gon' what me and Lonnie do, Lonnie B gon' do. We gon' eat this right loud, 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 and in color in front of you. I'm gonna eat some more. Watch out, girl. <laughs> no, but tell them, tell them, tell them about your business so that we can go ahead. We only got an hour to end with this after yes, show, bro. Yes, it's um, the One Seafood Instagram, Facebook um, website is theonesafood.com. I deliver all over um, Atlanta. You can call, text. Most areas have a minimum fee of order. 
and also a delivery fee. So it's the next time when you deliver, man, can you peel the, can you peel the shell up? I don't, I, do, yeah. I don't really like circumcised dick, so you already. <laughs> <laughs> you already know I ain't like I mean, excuse me, uncircumcised dick. So, bitch, you know I ain't finna sit up here and want to peel no the skin. I feel sure, but it is a fee. But it is a fee. So I know you heard that. She, don't you can say it loud? Not for me, <laughs> but for you, motherfuckers, that want y'all shrimp peel, you, you gotta pay. It is worth pay. it. It's, it is both. Mm. All right, watch out. Let me eat mine. So, <laughs> so, wait, 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 you got the shirt with the head on or the head off? I got it with the head off. <laughs> the rice is good, too, y'all. Mm. Oh, my God. The egg. Ooh, a yeah, sausage. Mm. The sausage. wash it. A sausage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. So, you, you done gave them your phone number? Give them your phone number. They can text you. Yes, contact info is 678-7535486. They can't see me. Uh -huh. Again, 678-7535486. The One Seafood, Instagram, Facebook. Website is theonesefood.com. I deliver all over Atlanta. Just call, text, ask, and I'll let you know what your minimum order and delivery fee is. All right, babe. Thank you so much, babe. And listen, no food, no food will be wonderful without drink. And tonight we were drinking on a lots of things. So we have our drink sponsor, whom I've teamed up with, and it is Get... Get lit. Get lit. By choice. By choice. By choice. By choice. Now your it's your choice. choice to get lit. Your choice. Your choice. To okay. Get lit. Tell us about the be the drinking and how you guys partnered up with me, honey, and got this big ass giant bottle like this to bust a bitch in their fucking face if they try you <laughs> out in the street. Yeah. Oh, you shake this up. Oh, okay. Come on, babe. Tell us about it. Let me move out y'all way. Y'all want I, me Should move? I open? No, no. No, no. no, no. Go ahead. Should you I open up? open your adult Capri Sun. What mm. it tastes like, Maddie? What it tastes like? Bitch, Kiki, mm -hmm. are you riding? <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell us about it. Well, we came on through and got everybody lit by choice. It's a vibe. Is everybody lit in the room? Yeah. 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 Everybody in here that can, yeah. are y'all lit, bitch? That shit good for. It good for. That shit good for. That shit good for. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Available. It is available. If you would like to order from us, just go to www.getlitbychoice.com. Place your orders there. We do deliver locally here, but um, we also ship out to you. So if you do want the drink, get on there and order it. We definitely appreciate it. We are Maddie the Mobs. Coupon code, you get 10% off. That's M-A-D-D-I-E-M-O-B. All right. All right. Now let's get down to this after show. Thank you, ladies. We'll get, we'll get a word from both of y'all before we... Before we leave. Lonnie B, did you have a good time? I had a wonderful time, bitch. Bitch, when I tell you I provided you drinking food, you only drunk tea over here, bitch. I only drunk sweet tea. Sweet tea. Mm -hmm. Chi, -chi, Chi Chi, can you give your mother a fork from back there? Can you give your mother a fork from back there? Okay. Could he get his who? Your mother. Mother. <laughs> Ain't that how y'all said in DC? Mother. 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 We sure do. Mother. Get your mother a fork. Can you fork a dirty, a dirty oh. Bitch, what the fuck would I look like? Even <laughs> off a dirty fork. That's like you asking me what I like a dirty dick no. tray. Yeah. Uh, which one? Which one so you say what you prefer? Shit, I keep on getting lit like this. Everybody in here look like Trey, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Kiki, are you writing? <laughs> Thank you, Chichi. Thank you so much. All right, well, let's get down to it. Craig, can you run us down some of the stuff that we talked about? Because I totally forgot. I'm, I have Alzheimer's. <laughs> Yeah, we talked about uh, yeah, Joe right. Jackson dying. Child, did y'all love it? I did Leave notice. It alone. Leave it alone. I did notice that you didn't like me calling up to heaven. I a, did. A, a, a snowball in the heaven. I'm not snowball. Crystal ball in the heaven. To talking to Michael Jackson. Talk, talking to Michael Jackson. But we needed to know. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I just really feel like. Do you feel any sympathy in your heart towards Joe Jackson perishing? Hell yeah. Yes. What? No. Hell no. yeah. No. Who said yes? He's a person. Like, those people had, they were, af those kids were afraid of their father. That's what we saw, but we don't know the other side. Of well, that. bitch, he ain't denied it. Have you watched interviews of him saying, yes, he whooped his children. He whooped his children in a certain way. And yeah. made them superstars. But that doesn't mean it didn't love their father. But listen, I don't give a fuck how no, much of, I don't give a fuck how much of a superstar. got beaten. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck how much of a superstar he was. They, those children are. Those children still suffer problem. Wait a minute, I ain't got no right. Make sure they successful. Did you give me some of that right? Because I see Lonnie over there fucking that shit up. That's the goddamn lie. 
So, somebody said it doesn't matter because they grew up traumatized as adults. Abuse is abuse, and I agree with that. Right. So my own would say also said that he provided for them, though. That's right. You know, actually, those kids provided for him. Oh, somebody said. So are we keeping it real? Those kids provided for him. And they said Janet broke down with love for her father and Essence. That's right. She did, but I did see her talk. It was talk. still her father, despite the manager part. It was still her daddy. Mm-hmm. I've seen her talk all kinds of shit. All right, Jamel, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our first caller, and the first caller needs to be talking about Joe Jackson. Let's go. All right, Juror 1005, the Queen Supreme Court after show with our judge of recent T.S. Madison and special guest Ronnie B. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your judgment on tonight's legend? Go ahead, one minute, Paula. Hello, um, I'm calling from Saginaw, Michigan, Jesse Merrill. And I just want to call in and say good morning, sis. I love me from Lonnie B. And I love me from T.S. Madison. Yes, yeah, I, so I love you too. I saw you all together. Really? And, um, and I'm not going to see these type of things, but I just love y'all and I ain't want nothing. I didn't want to say much. Well, did you enjoy the show? Did you really enjoy the show? Hell yeah, and I meant to bring that up. Lonnie needs to be on the show permanent. <laughs> I love Lonnie so fucking much. I watch his radio show all the time, and I watch you all the time, too. But, to listen, Lonnie out there getting real money. I can't, listen... Lonnie out there getting Lonnie, Lonnie, Lonnie out there getting real money. I can't compete. I can't I can't pay no checks like that, y'all. I, I, I'm still trying to get that. <laughs> okay, well you need to go to his radio show. Go to DC. Oh yeah, okay. Okay. I will go on Lonnie's radio show. Yes, I will. Yes, I will do that. You well, will, I will, you but will for real? Lonnie is he's, he's always welcome here in Atlanta when he's here to on the show. What's your name again? Jesse. Thank you so much, Jesse. Y'all are tearing that damn seafood. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, baby. All right, take another call, Jamel. Hey, baby, you gonna feed me All some? Right. Is that my daddy? Call, uh, call <laughs> 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 baby, you gonna give me some? The Supreme Court after show with our judge of reason, T.S. Madison, and special guest Ronnie B. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your judgment on tonight's legend? Go ahead, call in one minute. Hello. Hi. Hi, boo. Hey, Maddie. Hey, Maddie. It's Lewis from NYC. How you doing? What's up, Lewis? My baby, Lewis Mariano, honey. My old, my old uh, Italian baby. What's the tea? How you doing? I just wanted to uh, call and say, hey, I didn't get a chance to see the show because I got home on the tail end of it, but I'm going to run it back and watch it. Okay, make but sure you do to, that. I wanted to call I wanted to call and ask you, I saw that you're going to be at DragCon in September. Yes, I will be at DragCon. I, I, wanted, I wanted to know if you know what day you're going to be there because I would love to come see you and give you a hug. Oh, yes, babe. I'm going to be there um, all the days, honey, all the days. I got to collect all of the chickens, which all of them. I can't oh, miss it. Okay. And I'm going to be bringing packs of lit juice with me. So make, sure, so make sure you come. We will be consuming alcohol in the line. <laughs> I promise. Okay, well, I'm going to bring you some alcohol when I come and see you. All right, okay. baby. Okay. I love you, baby. I love you, too. Bye-bye. Bye. Now, you look how they're going to bring me the rice and another plate, making me look like a fat. Oh, uh-uh, don't you drop that lobster tail. I ain't dropping it, baby. I don't, don't drop food. Don't you do that. Don't, don't you do that. We don't drop food. Don't, don't you do that, food. Adrian. Oh! Oh, you dropped right, We dropped that phone before we dropped that food. <laughs> All right, next caller. Call the three three zero five. Uh-huh, I need to play 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 after show with our judge at recent What's the name? Where you call her? And what's your judgment on tonight's legend? Go ahead, call him. One minute. What's the tea, caller? Go ahead, call him. Call the sleeve. Call the show a bitch. Show a little shot for the camera. Call the nine. Call the Supreme Court after show with our judge reasons, Kiss Madison, and special guest Lonnie B. What's your name? Will you call him from? And what's your judgment on tonight's lecture? Go ahead, call him. Hello. Go ahead. Hi, boo. Oh my God, I can't believe I got through. You got through. Eat a biscuit, Hi, boo. Hey, boo. I love you so much, Kiss Madison. Give me some sugar, then, if you love me. Give me some God. If you love me, sugar. 
If you trust me, sugar. If you need me, sugar. I wanted to talk about Safari. I think it's I think it's sweet that he's looking for a wife. Shit, pull that big old dick out. Let me watch the porno. I don't want I don't give a fuck who he yes. I just want to see the porno. <laughs> Bitch, I've been motherfucking safari stalking Safari. I've been stalking Safari ever since I see. Well, not stalking him. Let me not even say shit like that. But I've been looking at. I've been looking, child. I didn't see no print early in the, in his lifetime. But baby, when that motherfucking naked video had surfaced and that motherfucking Wakanda cop was hanging to the side, I said, "Look at God. God is in this place. He is in this." Around his leg. It is. He said that. Wrap the leg, wrap the shit around my ankle. <laughs> this house arrest me. I give him a whole shitload of baby. Oh, y'all so horny. Next. Girl, <laughs> let, that, let that woman give him a set of babies from next caller. Girl, why you don't want them women? Them women want to get some fire they cheering. Come in me. <laughs> Come in me. So you mean to tell me, Lonnie, when you saw Safari over there naked and naked and things and hanging out and stuff mm -hmm. and stuff like that, you ain't want to get you no piece of it, even though you's a married child. I ain't look at him. I was laying next to my man. Well, your actual man did he see Safari's motherfucking dick <laughs> hanging over to the left oh, like he's that? Doing the right thing. That's the right thing to do. But I can look. I'm single. I can look. <laughs> I wouldn't give a fuck if I was married. I'm gonna look. That's a big old anaconda. Yes, Lord. All right. All right, thank you. You guys have a good night. Thank you, babe. <laughs> they tell my Lonnie not here for it. Okay. <laughs> Lonnie, you, be, you know what I like when y'all be doing them Leandria teas and then y'all really come out like she did. Speaking of Leandria. <laughs> um, so what you saying? I'm faking the funk? You saying I'm faking the funk? You want a little piece of sauce yourself? Just tits. You saying I'm faking the funk? Girl, we're not gonna sit up here and act like we don't look at dicks, girl. Right, too. You know, we're not gonna sit up here. You want this? <laughs> it just looks so good. Yeah, you're over there slapping us. Girl, I'm fucking it up, girl. Oh, I'm sorry. I know the people's out there watching. Y'all gotta get y'all some of the one. Who told my son we eat chitlins? I need to place my order now. Oh, okay. where you at, son? <laughs> do you do 24 hour delivery? Yeah. yeah. You're gonna have to get into that, girl. Listen, people be late night coming in well, from the. Oh, I gotta hire some people. Oh, listen, seafood is fancy. Why would you say my Good name? Good morning, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you <laughs> confiscate my plate like that? Uh -uh. Oh, <laughs> Felicity, I need support. Felicity, come over <laughs> here. <laughs> Why would you <laughs> say. Come over here, Felicity. We're on the Girl, same she's trying to steal my plate. I need my rice. <laughs> okay, I'm coming in. Bring it right and set it right there. Get you a little spoon so y'all give Felicity a sauce. <laughs> Why would you say my name? Give her a sauce. Why would you? <laughs> what she say? I'm coming back. What? I'm coming, but you want to sauce some Why would you say my name? Oh, girl, yes. All right, next caller, girl. You can to me. All right, thank you, girl. It's Jerry 9443. Hey, Jerry. 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 Maddie, it's your girl Dina from New Jersey. How you doing? What's up? What's up, Dina? Listen, since you're from New Jersey, before you even get started, I need to ask you. Before you even get started. What in the hell you thought about when we talked about that old the lady being dead from the light company turning on her light, her <laughs> oxygen went out? <laughs> that is not funny. Oh, I'm not laughing at the dead lady. Oh. But do you think that it was the family? Do you think it was the family's responsibility to tell that 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 that, that the woman was up in there with an oxygen tank on that was plugged up into the wall? No. Of course, they should have had a doctor's note already at the um, utility company so that her lights couldn't have went off. That was messed up. Yeah. So who do you think was at fault in that situation? Her family. Just like I fucking said. Mm -hmm. But anyway, because you know Jamal gonna cut me off short. But Lonnie, Lonnie is, Lonnie don't clock in on nobody, y'all. Lonnie is a, Lonnie is a, is a, is an entrepreneur. Yeah. Oh, 
Listen, let me tell y'all something. Messi C brought a variety to the Queen Supreme yes, Court like no other. Yes, he did. Messi C came through. It was like, what you said? Oh, I love the man. I love the man. <laughs> I love the man. The lady with the grit, she looked like a brick. She did look like a brick. And she had no business knocking that 92 year old man in his motherfucking face like that. She did. And Brandy and Monica. Um, I love both of them, but Monica just acts a little more classy. That was corny with Brandy did. She didn't have to go up there to show off that she's, you know, you don't have to do that. When you know yourself, you don't have to, you know what I'm saying? Now, when Monica catch her outside and tear that ass up, now that's going to be a whole different story. And I like both of them. It's going to be a lawsuit. Mm-hmm. See, I'm nobody going to no lawsuit no more. They not. And yeah. Nikki Lloyd look crazy. That's see that eye. I mean, look, child, the mosquitoes told Lloyd the back. Of, Lloyd got so many mosquito bumps on the back of his ass, bitch. I know he was out there in them bushes. Them mosquitoes wore his motherfucking ass out. What I? Playing connected socks right goddamn now. Listen, I rub some calamine lotion on that ass though. He bring that ass right here. I will rub some calamine lotion on that ass, bitch. I'll put some more, some of that pink lotion on his ass. Okay, Judge Tits, that's enough. Oh, see, London don't like all the sexual stuff, child. London says. <laughs> Right, hey. You know why you get so much problem? You are very beautiful. You are What happened? It's your mouth for the next one. Lonnie, you hung the phone up. Oh, I did. Oh. No! Lonnie, that's the show. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> I apologize, y'all. I thought that was my phone. That's the first time I've ever done it. Lord, get somebody give me the goddamn na- napkin. Lord, none of the phone. No, my fault. I did not mean to do that. Call her. I apologize. Hey, hey, I thought it was right in my phone, phone, but it's right here. I'm sorry. Listen, that's how y'all do in Baltimore. I'm going to see. I know, but I thought I was picking up my phone. I apologize. Call her. I didn't mean to do that to you. Call back. God damn it. I am so sorry. That was an accident. Please enter your access code followed by the pound or hash sign. Why did they tell me that wasn't my phone? <laughs> I don't know what you were reaching for. Craig <laughs> over there, his plate, he can't even motherfucking... <laughs> I apologize, that was an accident. Question, please press star six. No, I'm not turning on drink. You're for life. If you do not, nope. That lady called every way she'll be out. God damn it, Craig. <laughs> God damn it. When she called again. Oh, you the- <laughs> <laughs> She already back, Craig. <laughs> Craig, sis back already, <laughs> baby. That didn't mean nothing. Bitch, we was hang up. Yeah, Bitch, was off laughing for about five minutes. She was off. I all- apologize. I did not mean to hang up on you. I'm so sorry. Child, listen, Lonnie ain't as nice as y'all whole state, Lonnie. <laughs> no, is I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't let it fool you, good. That was an accident. Uh, 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 very beautiful. I see why people are jealous of you. You put yourself together well, and you just keep doing what you're doing. Thank you, my baby. Listen, and don't pay my greasy fingers no attention, y'all, because I'm over here fucking the, the, the one seafood the fuck up. <laughs> when I say she kept talking like she hadn't got this. Like time. she had got with no one. <laughs> All right, baby, love you. All right, come on, let's go to the next car. They said Lonnie tried to go home early. <laughs> <laughs> Six ball is the Queen Supreme Court after show with with our judge reasons. Yes, Madison and special guest. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your judge tonight's legend? Go ahead, call her one minute. Girl, you going to sleep, Irish? Hey, what's up, y'all? She's Linda from Pittsburgh. Hey, Pittsburgh in the house. Guess who's back in the house? Hey, Linda. I just had a couple couple comments, a couple one little dumb question, but a couple comments real quick. You just. Your show was awesome, T.S., you are awesome. Mommy B, you are fucking awesome. Thank I'm you. I'm cracking up. Y'all two bitches together got me making my everything. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, boo. No shit. Inside and out. T.S., you got my inside. I'm a big girl, too. So oh. I stuck out with oh. you from a fashion festival. You fucked it up. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, baby. Thank, Thank you. You got my inside, my heart. Well, you're such an inspiration, and you're wonderful. Thank you so much. I, I appreciate you. I watch you every day. Oh, Thank you. Good love, y'all. 
Uh, Man, damn. Hello. Is he a correctional? <laughs> she said hello. <laughs> okay, well, that's why I just want to say I love y'all. And Monica and Brandy, that's some corny old lady shit. I forgot all about them bitches. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> see, y'all couldn't get the song together. Good night, y'all. Good night, y'all. Good night, boy. Good night. You see, y'all couldn't get the song together. Good night, you Yeah. <laughs> Quick, what's that, Myrtle? Yeah. What's that beeping? I'm already Okay. Oh, that was her. She was over her time period. Uh-oh. One nine one one. Call the one nine one one. It's the Queen Supreme Court after the show. Uh, just the reason yeah, here is Madison and special guest <laughs> just Ronnie B. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your judgment on tonight's legend? Go ahead, call one minute. Hello, this is Shaquilla from Chicago. Hey, Shaquilla from the shop. What's up, babe? <laughs> Give me some sugar then, girl. If you love it, give me if you love me, sugar. Shall I give me some sugar, girl? What's the tea? Too much. Um, um, after um your show, I was there. I'm the one came up with the um phone trying to give them your music because I'm thinking. Oh, <laughs> oh, at the show, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she listen, cause they didn't have my motherfucking song, and she came up. I wanted you to get into the contest, girl, but you wouldn't get in the contest. No, yeah, I had on the white bob wig. Whoa, I'm just coming to see my uh, my miss man. Yeah, we had a good time though in Chicago. Yes, we did a good fucking time. Yes. Honey, I love you. You know this is how it's Chicago in house. I go see Ronnie all the time. I'm coming to uh, September show, Ronnie. Oh, Good morning, man. Thank you so much. Good morning, man. <laughs> <laughs> so what you thought about? <clears throat> yeah, tell me what you thought about it. Um, Monique. Monique did. Yes, I think he did that to be shady. I'm sorry, that's my opinion. And, and I agree with you. And I disagree with you. I agree with you 100 percent <laughs> that he that he bought her that Tesla. And I disagree with you. He bought her that Tesla because it he might wanted to be something. And it's no, nothing. no, because on the phone he is looking in it too hard. On the phone. <laughs> Right, cause on the phone he told her that he was gonna go and get that fucking uh, get that money from oh, Precious. He, he did say that he was gonna get the money from Precious, and he was gonna scrape. But I thought that was Lee Daniels' movie. It, it was, was. Tyler. but Tyler. Tyler's no, that was Lee. Tyler told her. Yeah, but Tyler told her like, girl, you know what? Since we just gonna squash, I'm just gonna squash all this stuff for everybody. I'm gonna find out what the movie made, and then I'm gonna come through and I'm gonna straighten you, girl. I'm gonna straighten you the, the, off the bay. And she said it ain't even about that. It's about her people saying that she was difficult, blah blah blah. And he was very much so in, a, in so many words. Fuck it, then, bitch. You know, and then let it go. And then next thing you know, tipping her dish. Paris girl. <laughs> Mm. Yes, but I love you guys. I love you. You guys, I hope you guys do another show like the other caller said. You guys are awesome together. I've been waiting on this day forever. Yeah! I'm glad you like it. Yes. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, somebody on live said he needs to take his boring ass back to D.C. <laughs> child, you don't pay them no pension, child. Who was that? I'm from Chicago. I'm from no, 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 no. Thank you, baby. Somebody we don't know and will never meet. Have a nice night. Thank you, boo. I love you. I love Chicago, girl. I had a good time right. this last Chicago time. Chicago is lit. Baby, Chicago is over here. Bitch, Chicago. I love Chicago, I love bitch. I love Chicago. I, I'm going I'm to be in Detroit on the 28th of July. Oh, me too. When I'm going to be there? Detroit. I'm gonna be on in the Detroit 28th too. of July, I'll be in no, de Detroit. I'll be in the fall. In the fall. Or, mm. October 14th. Or my birthday. Right. Call up for the 7603. <clears throat> it's the Queen, the Queen Supreme Court after show with our judge, a reason to get mad at and gets Judge Money B. What's your name where you call them from? And what's your judgment on tonight's legend? Go ahead, call them one minute. It's Missy. Hello? 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 Oh, hi. Okay, no, I didn't know. Hi, Janelle. Hi, Maddie. Hi, Lonnie. How you doing? Oh, my gosh. This was the all-time best show ever with my two favorite people. Oh, thank, oh, you, thank you so much. 
y'all did that thing on a P level. And I'm from DC. Yes, oh. bitch. Yeah. Yes. What's that? What part of DC you from? What part of DC you from? Oh wow. shit, it's real up there, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> now, bitch, how many but eggs I had? Because I don't want to stop farting. I gave you three now. Daddy, you know I love you, girl. But I have to agree with Lonnie uh, with that situation. As you should. <laughs> I, I, As you should. I agree with her totally. Yeah. My DC sister, like, yeah. You talking about with the Tyler Perry? Yeah. No, you talking about Whitney Houston. That is like Let it go. Off the dead. Yeah. And I feel this day, these every step, this. Wait, what? Oh, hey. Celebrities that are still alive, they should be their own biopic. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Why wait till, you know, they gone? Yes, we know oh, Whitney God. used for and all of that, but she not here yep. to tell her truth. You but know what I'm if you watch the movie, and her, her if, family is wrong for allowing that. But if you watch the movie, you will see that Whitney told lots of her story from her from a, from her perspective. She told what was going on. We watched. But she I'm didn't approve to release it. Y'all know that. No, no, no. I mean, she's gone. She was broke. She, she talked about it. You know, who's to say if she was alive that she wanted to reveal all that publicly, you know? Mm-hmm. That's right. Well, what, well, what it could have been clips that she didn't approve of that they still had in the vault and they released. Well, we found, mm-hmm. I did find out, I, I just found out lots about Whitney that I, I've already known things about Whitney because I'm a Whitney fanatic. But I found out right. that Whitney was, was a human being just like me. But you found out that you didn't know. I knew she was an old dagger. <laughs> I knew Whitney was a dagger. With the with the manager. <laughs> that was her manager. Robin was her manager. That was somebody she met at school. Oh. Mm-hmm. She was, I knew Whitney was a dagger. And, and I found out that Whitney was touched. By her uncle. Okay, no, man, she was touched by her aunt, Dee Dee. Uh, uh, man, would you prefer to tell your own truth? Well, you had told your own truth. You know about everything you did, but if you had told your own truth and you, God forbid, was dead, with me situation, okay, would you want somebody to make a biopic movie about you making money because the money running out? Yeah, okay, well, oh, okay, well, listen, and part I, of your truth. I right? get what you're I saying. Think you would want no, I wouldn't want that, but I, but the world painted a picture out about Whitney as a crackhead and this and the other. When you watch that, you will think like, okay, well, what happened, Whitney, in your life? Because when people start b- b- being heavy on substance abuse, something went on in their life. Something went on, somebody introduced it to them. Something happened that made them be like, okay... They made them be like, okay, bitch, you know, I got to do this crack. I got to do this weed. I got to do it. They were, oh. She could handle the thing, because if you look at it, a lot of them, they were like, from the sixties or stuff like that, they died from overdose of drugs. Yes. And that's just the truth. Uh, yes, I, I, that I know. But if we sitting up here, if you go and watch that movie, you will be like, okay, if by the end, I don't want to give shit away, but if you haven't watched it, you'll be like, I think Whitney committed suicide. It will make you think that she committed suicide because there was so much stuff going on in her life. Like, the woman was molested. I, I, I feel like that she feel like that she was forced into being gay. She was bullied. If you, when you watch this shit, you like, oh, okay. Now I see why the bitch I motherfucking smoked all of them flip joint. I see why she smoked all that boom and stuff. I see that. But see, that side of her is not for the world to see. That's not for the world to see. That's just... able to, you know, make money off of it. But for me, I, I, I get I tired of them calling my Whitney a crackhead. I get tired of them call, but I get tired of them calling my Whitney Houston a crackhead. But as long as they keep putting that but stuff But when I there. watched what I watched, I was like, okay. Maybe the substance was an escape for her. This was a real heavy escape 
for what was going on in her life. We don't know this stuff was going on because it's, it's not for you to know. She was presented to the world as a singer, not to show the demon right. she was battling with. But she publicly, she publicly did that shit in front of everybody. When you making up shit, what's the legend You didn't say. Uh, yeah. She did. She did. She did. Yeah. She did. She told me. But they didn't show her sniffing no coke or nothing like that. They showed it when, uh, the day after when she was. I mean, I was after, I was but for me, but for me, it made me understand. But it made me understand. That That's the thing. It's not for you to understand. But You're just supposed to know her as a singer. That's it. But not the demon she battled. But she's with. not a crackhead. The world made her out as a crackhead. That's because the world was curious on knowing what it was she was doing. But when it explains in the movie, this woman was battling abuse. A movie that she didn't produce or let out. Well, she, she ain't seen it and she ain't gonna see it. Oh, oh she saw it. Girl, what about Crystal Ball? I called Whitney last week. Stop, don't do that witchcraft shit again. <laughs> <laughs> Murray, you gonna get in the light, girl. You. you welcome. Thank you for calling in. I love you too. I'll be at your next show when you come back to the street. Oh, uh, October the twenty first. Yes, I got my tickets. You got them already? I sure did. Oh, okay. I'm glad because it's sold out. I was about to be like, shit. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate you. you know, I can't wait to hug you. Get some of that. I just told you. <laughs> yeah, you know how we do it, bitch. <laughs> All right, thank you, baby. Well, that's the way I feel about the Whitney thing. Well, you shouldn't feel like I that feel because that's not I, your business. No, Lonnie, but you, you but you have not watched the movie yet. I don't want to see it because I love Whitney. I want to remember her. What one of my reasons not going Chi -chi, to we went to see the movie. What did you learn? You learned that she wasn't just a crackhead. Right. She was a dad. But that's what I already got in my head. I, I know she I wasn't know she just a crackhead, but, crack but, but the people sing her. You wanted to go in there and be, you a nosy bitch. You want to be, I want to know, <laughs> I want to know what the fuck going on with her. I want to know who she fucking, who she sucking, was she really a dog? You want to know all that. Yes, bitch. I don't give a fuck. I do because that made me love her even more to know these no, things. No, it makes the world judge her even more. That's what it makes. No, it makes, because, okay, there were, that's what it makes. I'm going to be honest with you, there were times that I was just so angry with Whitney. Like, bitch, why are you smoking cigarettes and why are you doing that, bitch? I love the way you sing. Mm -hmm. I didn't know these things were going on in her life, that this stuff went on in her life like that. I just thought she was a rich bitch that was, you know, you think all rich bitches is rich as fuck and they just party all night. Right. But it's, there's a reason that they're partying like that, bitch. You know, they got all this money. They got all this shit going on. And they battle with demons. You know this entertainment world is fucked up. Mm -hmm. People be in stress and trying to find out where their next meal going to go and I sell <laughs> albums, all that shit. That shit is strong. You got people around you stealing from you. Yeah. Everybody that's around you. But it showed all that. You. It showed her daddy was that way. Everybody ain't around you, ain't for you. Some people around you just to take from you and benefit from you. Mm -hmm. That shit stresses you out. Yeah. That stuff you know, bitch. I know that, but I want to know that about Whitney. <laughs> no, you see, no, no, you can. You just want to be you know Let me did. know what Pat Houston did. Let me know what Gary Houston did. They're going to get their time. And I found out that their brother, them brothers is real homophobic. If you really fool Whitney, yeah. you wouldn't be supporting things that Whitney not putting out. She and Whitney put that money. out. Whitney got no. in front of that camera they and she said money. Paula Abdul ain't shit. <laughs> she sings flat. She on sings the flat on the record. Whitney said it on camera. And how many YouTube shows you looked at and said, oh, this shit ain't shit. They copying it. I did it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> they all do it. Well, that's how I feel. Next caller. Yeah. All right, next caller. 0763 is the Queen Supreme Court after show without judge of reason, T.S. Madison, and special guest Lonnie B. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your judgment on tonight's legend? Go ahead, call her one minute. Huh? Hey, babe. Is you live? What is that, Michael Mass? She's not here. Who fuck? Who eat your coochie, babe? Babe, you who eat your coochie, babe? Eat it, babe. Eat it. Oh no. What's 
to let that go. Jamel. Yeah, thank you, Jamel. Jamel, you let it go? You let it go. Bitch, I was going to say that. Bitch, that was the OnlyFans free trial. Thank you, Jamel. Jamel, it's the Queen Supreme Court after show with Judge of Reason, T.S. Madison, and special guest Ronnie B. What's your name? Where you calling from? Yeah, What's your name? Go ahead, call him one minute. Chichi, listen. Hold on, call him one minute. 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 Hold on, I, my plate sit here. These, I know I got two lobster tails, a bushel of crab, a corn. Bushel of. Don't fuck off. All right, man, I got to go. Okay. I will wake up in the morning and act crazy about my motherfucking plate now. Please don't, because I want to hear it. Okay, thank you, Carla, for holding on through that. I had to, we had to interrupt the call for a moment. Go ahead. We had a commercial break. Oh. Mm. Girl, you killing it. Cool. Yes. I'm ready, Carla. <laughs> Hey y'all, so this is Ty Ty, the second half of Gabbing with the Girls. Shout out to my to my other half, uh, Lady Naomi Hill. What's up, y'all? Hey, what's up, baby? Honey, 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 you are the true. We love you, honey. What's up in the moon? <laughs> Bitch, good morning. <laughs> I'm in here holding on. I want to touch a little bit on this Whitney Houston situation. Oh, here we go. Quick. First of all, first of all, before you start, who you rolling with, Lonnie or Maddie? Baby, listen, I'm rolling with Whitney. Okay, oh, so go ahead. Oh. So go ahead, go ahead. What you so say? I think it's important. I think it's important for us to support our artists, our meaning black people. Okay? She's not here no because more. Because here's the thing, y'all. The media will have y'all thinking that our black people, the only ones who go through um, mental issues, they will have y'all thinking that we're the only ones who go through drug issues, this, that, and the third, and they will deduce us by that. Right. So, Whitney Houston was so much more than her drug issue. Right. Whitney Houston was so much more than um, her being being a lesbian. And so fucking what if she was a lesbian, bitch, get it, okay? And here's the other thing. You will never, <laughs> ever hear the media talk about Barbara Streisand being on drugs. You'll never hear when Celine Dion is gone and in and, and a way... They won't talk about that. They will talk about how amazing of an artist they were. So I want us as a community to make sure that we lift Whitney Houston up as the amazing artist that she is and don't deduce her by her shortcoming. But so do, I, do you agree with the movie or disagree? I disagree. Thank I don't you. want these biopics that they Thank come out with. Thank, Thank the fuck you. out of you, girl. Thank the fuck out of you. That's right. That's right. Baby, I don't like these biopics. Me neither. I don't like them and I don't support them. But this bitch right here, she runs to the theater to see. <laughs> I put my track shoes on and ran out of the theater. <laughs> she runs. <laughs> I walk in the theater saying, I know that when you look at me, there's so much that you just don't see. But if oh, you I would only that. take the time, I know. Baby, baby, What's up, baby? What? We gonna, have, we gonna hold you up no matter what. We don't care what nobody got to say about T.S. Madison, bitch. We gonna hold you up. I know, up. and y'all do that. Listen, and one thing about me. one thing about my mom. Listen, one thing about my mom. My mom. No, hold on, Jamel. Don't you cut her off. One thing about my mom, my mom do not, my mom don't fuck off, period. When them, when they see a, period, when they see a bitch trying me, they be on them hoes like grease. Like that, like white on rice. But they be on them bitches. They be on it. But this the thing, right? The way, I, you, you made a point about Barbara Streisand. What's the other white bitch name? Celine. Celine, Celine. Celine Dion. The, and who else is the other, who else is the other bitch? Mariah Carey. All of them women, they, we don't never talk about their drug addiction. Okay. We only talk about how great they are. Okay, but let's be clear. But let's be let's be real. Not clear. Let's be real. They're right. Yes, they are right. They're Amy Winehouse. That okay, true. let's be let's be. But this is the thing. They don't. They didn't do it as publicly as Whitney as it, that shit was exposed publicly as Whitney's was exposed. 
The reason why I supported the thing is because I found out that, yes, Whitney was a great star. Whitney was a superstar. Whitney broke barriers. Whitney, Whitney is the cause of a lot of things that went on today. Right. But what America painted out of Whitney and what they put out of Whitney in her left, Whitney was abused. So I, so I just feel like that. Okay, we giving her some type of some type of sympathy. Get off of her dick. She smoked the crap with somebody stuck that finger in her booty. But do you feel like media perpetuated? Uh, Whitney's shortcomings more than they would support that, that they would perpetuate those ladies. You fucking right because Whitney could out. Guarantee you, those you, ladies had issues that were never. You you out. right, but but those ladies those ladies were never. Barbara Streisand can say this, but that little black girl came along and put a lot of bitches out of business. She came through, yeah, so they waited. Phyllis Hyman, she got Phyllis Hyman right now. Phyllis Hyman, we talking about the white folks. When Whitney came through and devastated. But you know she what? Did. Her what? debut album, I 30 million love She did. Whitney did all that. She groundbreaking yeah. everything. But I'm going to say this, and I love Whitney to death. But Whitney caused some of the attention for herself mm -hmm. because of her behavior. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When she did that reality show, Bobby and Whitney. But that was, no, but listen, she what, did that. When she, her behavior but made she, people poke at her. But Lonnie. See, them other bitches, they sniffing up lines and shit. But Lonnie, 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 yeah. Lonnie, yeah. Lonnie yeah. she did that. But they started showing that shit. Like, she did that around at the end. We talking about the Whitney when she was in her prime, the bodyguard, yeah. Yeah, for all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. that what they said, bitch, after Whitney, after Whitney catapulted into the stratosphere after that, bitch, that drug, that drug shit went into a different place for her. But she still, it was her behavior that made people poke at her. But every behavior you, has a foundation. That's why it's Candy, what you think about it? Candy, what you drunk over there? You done got lit. <laughs> you see how you look at me? She looked at you like, what? And nobody ever talked about it. Think about it right Bitch, come on over here, Candy. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> bitch. Ew, bitch. Ow, bitch. Right. I'm right. distracted, man. What's hold on, sir? Candy just walked in. Candy, motherfucking candy. Call me Will J. J. Candy just walked in this bitch. Candy, listen. I want. Can we talk? Can, do people know already? Do they know about what you're doing? Oh, they know. Yeah. Candy, we wanna, we, bitch. We are proud of you for being on Wild and Out, bitch. You is Wild and Out with Nick Candy, bitch. Yes. Okay. Yes. I was supposed to be on that. I'm late because I had to get straight from Channel Ten. Yes. So you be doing the Wild Style and all that shit. Red Squad. Yes. yes. Bitch. Oh, you on the Red Squad, I'm bitch. Okay, so Candy is in the motherfucking building, bitch. Right now, this bitch on the orange. I agree with, like, <laughs> on, on, like <laughs> Come on, come on, Candy. I'm an artist myself. Come on, Candy. If I want to be cracked out, whoever I'm going to fuck, that would be my business. Right, right, Go right, buy my right. song and leave it like this. Right. Bitch. What I do in my personal room, leave that the right. fuck alone. But, Candy, if you showing up the show falling all out, bitch, and That's you, my fault. And, and bitch, you stand up and talk about something. I shouldn't have been stumbling. And listen. I not to hide it. Listen, and you up there and... Listen, you up there and you start doing the whole motherfucking Mickey Howard. Come then share. Then bitch, I'm asking for it. Come That's right. Come share. But you don't have no business. Come share. That's a no lame. I feel like no shame. Some people should have stopped her. Okay. You don't have no business when you're like, hey, mama, star. like, no. Right. I'll always love you. Do not go do but that. Like, it comes to the territory. But see, that's the thing. Point, that's, that's, I think that's the excuse that people yeah. use. Like, they don't have no business. Everything is exposed. But being a star, you have to have balance. Yeah. You have to have balance. You can't just be ratchet and wild and just doing everything. That's you have true. to they have They want to see your nails, Candy. See, that's my problem because I just be like, that's what I'm talk, talk to the kids. Mean. Tell them what the problem yeah. is, Candy. What's what the is it? I don't want to get drunk as fuck, pull oh. niggas, end up in the. the See where the niggas is heading. Go to the after hours. Get fucked up. Be in the corner. But you can't do that. What a fuck? Don't do shit. Yeah, it'd be hard to be bougie. Like we go to the party where whatever yeah. the niggas is going. That's where we headed. Right. Or these three times is all going down. Like okay, yeah. I get that. But let's say you show up after the orgy, bitch. And you motherfucker so lit, and you supposed to be on stage singing, Come share my life, come into my life, 
then that's the moment I'm gonna have to have in the mirror, like, okay, look, bitch, like, timing is everything. Right. There's a peak. Oh, yeah. But you know, you still have to have balance. Yeah. You didn't have no balance. <laughs> All right, thank you, Carla. We done, you, listen, you done got us upset in here, child. Thank you, Carla. Jamel, we got to get some more calls. Thank you, baby. I was on side, too. Okay. Candy, what you got on? Um, I work you on Carla 
Yeah, it is too much about Whitney about the drug abuse. But the family made it, not because they made the money, needed the money. They did it because they said, since the truck is out there already, let's show Whitney's story. Let's show why she's like that. Let's show, just humanize her instead of just making her this crackhead. Show, you know, everything. So you get where I'm coming from. Let her take power and take, it, take power from the grave with her own story and speak from her own words. That's what they were trying to do. Okay, so I, lo I love what you're saying and the passion you have behind it, but that's your upset. That's you. Yeah, no, 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 no. That's they you coming no, up with no, that. No, no, no. Listen, listen, Lonnie B. Hey, baby, baby. It's not my opinion. I'm telling you what the family said. I'm not giving you my opinion. Okay, what did they say? What, what, you know what the lady said, and I believe her from my heart from when she said it on the morning in America. And the mother, they were like, no, okay. I wanted my baby to speak her own words. I didn't want the media to tell her story and all this stuff is out there. Whitney didn't commit suicide. Whitney was just going through whatever, man, and she messed up with her medication that night and did a little too much. She flipped back. But Whitney loved life. She loved people, whether she was the one. And that Bobby Brown shit, that was about Bobby. She they didn't want that out there about her. That was something Bobby wanted to do, and they got Whitney at her lowest time. And yes, people want to be remembered, want her to be remembered like that. That was a joke. That was a travesty. That well, was well, the that way that we strung out on drugs. The way that real Whitney fans want to remember her is through her music. And even though the family said all of that still to me is an excuse to make money, because the best thing to do is be quiet because silence is gold. Yeah, but it was already out there. Silence is gold, especially if she's not here to defend herself. Yeah, I mean, she's let let yeah, her rest yeah, in it peace. Was already out there, yo, they, 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 that was their only. That was like their last defense. They was like, you know, let's do this for they. And I think Whitney would, since it was already out there, right. I think Whitney would have approved that. I really do because it was done. You know, it, it was done from. Listen, like, if they make a document, listen. Right, right. Ray, listen, if they made a documentary about me getting my ass bust down by, you know what I'm saying, bust down by niggas and me and they showing me walking the beat. And that that was a place that I talked about that publicly. I openly talked about that. Like it's not like that it's, there was nothing hidden about Whitney honey, you know, do, doing the lace boot joints, the brother said. It cleared up a lot. Like, I was mad for Bobby Brown for years, How bitch. much more do y'all want to do? No, she I was... She sat down with Oprah. She sat down with Diane. Yes, she, she did. All these but people. listen, oh, I was mad fun. with Bobby Brown for <laughs> years. And when I found you out... You ain't going with that nigga. That but, nigga from D.C. You ain't going with that nigga. But when I found <laughs> out that Bobby Brown... <laughs> when I found out that Bobby Brown... That she was snorting, she was smoking and snorting before she even got with Bobby Brown. Yeah. The, the brother put, said, she put that on him. the brother said, bitch, she put that on him. we was getting fucked up everywhere. All over the United States of the fucking world, we was getting fucked up. The brother right, said right. that. So, like, bitch, don't get mad at, don't get mad at after, Bobby Brown. After she passed away. But anyway, guys, I just called to say I love the show. You guys were great. <laughs> and um, you gave me a lot of ideas. Because, Maddie, when I come down here, I'm bringing crab meat. And I'm cooking steaks. I'm cooking crab cakes. A lot of you may be jealous tonight. And I'm not playing with y'all. I'm going to continue to watch the show, man. This is Who is Sugar Ray. And I'll see y'all next time. All right, baby. Sugar Ray. Even though the said that, all those bye -bye. people are talking after she passed away. They should have had much to say when she was here. They did, but we were so focused on no, her. she was. We were so focused on bitch. We were so focused on her saying, come on, Ken, because we got one minute, 42. Yeah. We were so focused on her saying, no. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> we was yeah. focused on that. Mm -hmm. And we saw her. People saying, well, she didn't show up to the gig. She was being a diva. No, mamas was in that, in that room tore up because bitch Bobby was going to jail. And she over there saying, Bobby, please just come on tour with me. Stop doing this. Stop doing this, Bobby. Right. Come on tour. Like, why are you do like why are you out here embarrassing me? When we saw Whitney show up to pick up Bobby, she jumping all on his lap, loving him. But she was angry with his motherfucking ass for doing all this. Like, bitch, why do you keep embarrassing me like this? Like, I found out all this. I got it made me have a different level of love for Whitney. And I believe that the shit that the media was in her business or whatever. And she told, like, bitch, this is what was going on. Even though it came from the, the family, but she had talked this stuff. They, 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 these wasn't hidden cameras. She's gone and it shouldn't have been brought up. Yeah. Point blank. All right, ladies and gentlemen, listen, we about to go. We done had a whole hour. 
30, we got 38 seconds, 36 <laughs> seconds remaining. <laughs> Listen, make sure you uh goddamn get lit by choice. And also the one seafood. You know, go ahead on and play this shit back. We love you guys a lot. Lunny B, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Follow me on I am Lonnie. Yes. Candy, you will be back too. We love you guys and we'll talk with you soon. Eat a bitch cattle song. I'm gonna do it.